Today I'm gonna to be redesigning famous logos in the style of their competitors. I like to imagine another dimension where somehow, somewhere, McDonald's decided to hire the designer that did the Burger King logo instead. What would these logos look like and would the companies be as successful? Let's find out. Before we get started, if you're new here, I'm Tyler, AKA Tyler Talk, and on this channel I design, redesign, and critique logos. So if that's something you're into, then go ahead and subscribe. Also, yes, we are moving. That's why the moving boxes are in the background and hopefully soon you'll be seeing our new place with the new studio and everything like that. Let's get into the video. Okay, the first one I want to start with is Domino. What if it was in the style of Papa John's? For this one, I found the font of Papa John's called Aiken, I think, and I typed out Domino's in the font. I used the warp transform on this to make it kind of mirror what it looks like in the Papa John's logo. And before you come for me in the comments, yes, I am using Photoshop on this instead of Illustrator because I can do it much faster there. If it was for a client or something, I would use Illustrator as a vector, but it's not. So leave me alone. Anyway, I duplicated that layer and changed the green for the drop shadow and swapped out the word pizza for the Domino's dots. I think overall the logo still looks pretty good, but it definitely looks more like a small town mom and pop restaurant now. Up next we have Shell if it was in the style of the BP logo. For this one, I basically just changed the colors of the Shell one to match those in the BP one. And I added the word Shell in this font, Universe 55 Roman. Overall, I do like this one, but I think Shell's old logo looks better like from afar where you'll be seeing it on a highway on a sign. Next, I did Google in the style of Bing. I know Bing was never really that much of a competitor for Google, but I mostly just wanted to see it because I thought it'd be funny. I found the font online and it's literally called Bing font. I typed out Google and made it all blue. And then I decided to make the O yellow to kind of match the dot in the I and the Bing logo. I weirdly kind of like this one. I know in the Google logo, the colors are pretty iconic, but this one is weirdly a strong logo to me still. And last, I did Target in the style of Walmart. In making this one, I kind of realized I hate the Walmart logo logo. The colors are very like Easter and the font is very generic. When I looked it up, they actually use Myriad Pro, which is like a standard font that comes on all computers. Anyway, I resized the Target logo and turned it yellow to match the starburst in the Walmart logo. And I honestly think if this was Target's logo starting out, the company would have failed. Also, it made me wonder like, would the red balls outside of Target be blue and yellow? I also decided to do the opposite on these. So here is Walmart in the style of Target, BP in the style of Shell, Bing in the style of Google, and Papa John's in the style of Domino's. I really got inspired after making these, so I made a ton more. Let's look at those. If Nintendo was in the style of Sega. Well, with a quick Google search, you might find that the Sega font can actually be downloaded for free. And if you turn it blue, it might look something like this. I actually really like this, but it, it's definitely giving more of a retro feel. And I don't know how it would look on something like a Nintendo Switch. What if Instagram was in the style of Snapchat? First, you would have to give it that iconic yellow background and then put this very bold stroke on the whole thing. And it might look something like this. I'm not sure if I saw this in the app store that I would go to download it immediately. If Amazon was in the style of eBay, do we think it would do as well? Well, typing it out in this font called Universe, changing the colors and the kerning on it, it would look something like this. I'm getting like a kid's toy company type of vibe from this one. And last, if AT&T was in the style of T-Mobile. The closest font I could find was called Century Schoolbook. So typing that out in the T-Mobile pink and adding the squares, it might look something like this. I'm not a huge fan of the T-Mobile logo to begin with and putting the AT&T in its style definitely would not make me be a bigger fan. Some other ones I did were Starbucks in the style of Dunkin', Apple in the style of Android, Best Buy in the style of Radio Shack. Xbox in the style of PlayStation, Chili's in the style of Applebee's, Pepsi in the style of Coca-Cola, and Taco Bell in the style of Wendy's. Well, that is it for today's video. Which of these logo swaps is your favorite and which competitor style should I choose to do for the next video? Let me know in the comments. And as always, if you liked it, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell, and I'll see you in the next one.